but we do want to get to the race for Oakland mayor. There are 10 candidates on the ballot and joining us is the woman they are vying to succeed, Libby Schaff, who is now in the end of her second term as mayor. And thanks so much. Where are you tonight? You're having some fun. I see you laughing. <laughs> oh, cue the audience. Cue the energy. Tell me where you are and uh, how things are going for you. Well, listen, I'm actually at Monahan's on the Hill celebrating um, a great election run by Nina Joyner. She's running for the city council Don't. seat for District 4, where my family lives. <laughs> There is nothing like local politics. These are people that are in your community. They, they worship next to you. Their kids are in school next to yours. So I'm starting my night right with my, I hope, next council representative, and then I'll be heading out to the mayoral celebration soon. Yeah, your work continues. It's still an early night. Oh, my goodness. Cue, cue the, uh, the uh, cheers in the back. But let's talk about what we're doing for, for the, the race for Oakland mayor. You've got 10 candidates and um, yeah. vying for your position right now. And it's no secret that you have endorsed Lo Lauren Taylor. So explain why you believe that he is the best candidate. You know, Lauren Taylor's a third generation Oaklander. He has got the demeanor. He's got the experience. He's got the background to take Oakland to the next level. Uh, he's a biomedical engineer and business consultant. And you know, Oakland's a strong mayor city. The mayor runs this big complex organization. He's got the skills to do it. And I know that in his heart, Oakland is what he loves and what he will fight for. And it's no secret we talk about crime, gun violence, homelessness, some of the top issues, not only in Oakland, but in the Bay Area statewide. What do you think the incoming mayor needs to focus on first and foremost? What's the priority list? Well, listen, aligning our resources, particularly with the county, state and federal government. Uh, when I became the mayor, homelessness was not the crisis as it is today. So we've had to build a crisis response system while addressing the day-to-day -day issues. Uh, this next mayor will have a good foundation to build off of. You know, we quadrupled the shelter system, but we've got to build more affordable housing, permanent housing. That's what the next mayor is going to lean into. I'm leaving him a good pipeline of housing that is ready to go but we need funding sources for that. So that advocacy is gonna be important. That ability to bring people together and align the resources is gonna be important. Uh, I know that whoever becomes the next mayor, I will be supporting them in their transition and encouraging all Oaklanders to come behind them to support their success. Yeah, you've been there. And what should be the message to those residents in Oakland who are still frustrated with the homelessness and the crime and the things that they really want to see change. Obviously, it can't help it happen overnight, but it's a continuing topic that we continue to ask you questions about and we'll be asking the next mayor about. You know, take your mask out, come out, volunteer, be of service. Uh, I think we have been left in our homes too long, uh, separated. Oaklanders love one another. They are an incredibly generous population that has a deep commitment to service. And it is through service that we are gonna reconnect as a community and lift ourselves up together. No piece of government or elected official can do this alone. And I just feel this continued fatigue from the pandemic. It is really time for us to lift our spirits back up. Hopefully the holiday season will do that. And I assure you, as an Oaklander, I will continue to do that myself. All right. And before we go, how are you feeling tonight? Are you relieved? Are you nervous? Are you elated? What is it like for the outgoing mayor of such a big city with, with such a big job at stake? You know, it's, it's a mixed bag of emotions. I feel nostalgic. I mean, this is the restaurant where I had my election night party 12 years ago when I ran for city council. I love the people I've had the pleasure of working with. I'm proud of much of what we've done and I'm frustrated with what is left to be done. But most of all, I'm filled with so much gratitude for the people that have been on this journey with me, for the residents of Oakland that have continued to fight for this city. It is such a resilient, beautiful, brilliant, diverse city that I know is the city of the future. I will always believe that. I'm hella proud to be 
Oakland's 50th mayor, and I will always be that. Well, Mayor Libby Schaff, thank you so much. Cue the friends in back. They need to cheer again because we're going right, to have to take on. off. <laughs> <laughs> They're so easy. All right. Mayor Libby Schaff, thank you so much, and we'll check back with you later on tonight. Appreciate it.